Hey, I'm Mark, and I'm going to share with y'all a neat way to lose weight. There's three ways to lose weight. You can eat less, you can exercise more, and then there's a third way, and that is you expose yourself to a cold climate where your metabolism is having to work harder to stay warm. We're out on a four-day, 40-mile hike in the Tahutta National Forest, the wilderness, and we got to ford these rivers 80 times on this trip. Water temperature is about 50 degrees, about 40 degrees out this morning. Ooh, it's and uh, I just wanted to show y'all my gym. It sure beats a stinky gym walking on a treadmill, staring at a wall. And you can't cheat out here. You can't go get a piece of pizza or a bucket of chicken on the way home because there ain't nothing out here. We bring about 1,500 calories of food in a day and really enjoy ourselves while getting in shape and losing some weight. Well, we'll see y'all on the trail. Yet another river crossing. Kojak having a hard time. The trail's over there on the other side. We got another river crossing. I just fell in the last one right on my rear end. I'm soaking wet. first campsite. We're actually on an island. Conestoga River goes around to the left there and then around to the other side. So we're kind of isolated and I got my food hanging up. Bear proof. Mike's going to be sleeping in a hammock and I'm going to just sleep right here under the stars. It'll be my first time of not setting up the tent. Well, we got to get supper cooked. Well, that's our first campsite. We walked about eight miles yesterday. It's about 40 degrees this morning. And I slept under the stars over there. Me and Kojak slept back to back last night. Well, we'll see y'all on the trail. That's a long jump. Yeah, this is a hard cross in here. And we just did our 30th river crossing and having to warm our feet by a fire. It's just, feet are starting to turn colors. It's early in the morning, uh, that temperature hadn't warmed up yet. The reason why we have to cross the river 80 times is the other side is just sheer face. You can see there's no way and eventually this side will get sheer face and then you have to cross back over. We're in the Cahutta Wilderness on the Conestoga River. We'll be going off trail, going over a mountain through a pass to the Jacks River and going back the other direction on the Jacks River next few days and then back to our vehicle. 
This place is just so beautiful. Sheer walls here, right down to the water's edge. Mike just fell in the water and he's having to dry off and warm up again. Well, this is our end of the Kanasaga. We're going to be getting off trail, going up through a gap that takes us about two miles over to the Jacks River. So it may be having to use our machete some to do that. So we're cutting through this mountain gap following this little stream. It's called Stinky Creek. Kind of the first time we've ever done this, taking a, a shortcut, cutting quite a few miles off our trip to get over to the jacks. And just having to follow the stream. Well, that's the Jacks River. We finally made it through the shortcut. It was some beautiful scenery, lots of waterfalls. It's uh, taken us about four hours though to get here. Beautiful. Well, this is my gym's hot tub slash pool. And we're in luck, there's, there's nobody at the pool today. Well, we're gonna make our campsite here. Been two days, about 20 miles. Get, some supper in us and uh, we got two more days so if y'all want to see the rest of the trip just tune in to part two and i appreciate y'all watching thanks